I directed one show, and I cut one or two of them. And I'm trying to think of the, the producer's name. He he sort of liked me, and that's what, he wanted me to direct that show. And then somewhere along the line, I had a little confrontation with uh, Jay Bonifield, and, who was the head of the short department at uh, RKO Path. I, he had, I discovered that I was running the department and I was getting paid less. <laughs> so I told him, I said, you know, I'd like to be paid. And he said, well, we can't do that. So I gave him my two-week notice and I left. And uh, what happened is the man who was the producer of Information Please got so mad at, and was going to pull. They were shooting up at RKO Path A and 106th Street. He said, look, unless you bring him back, I'm taking my show out. <laughs> anyway, so now Bonifield called and ate crow, and I went back there for a while. And then eventually I left and set up my own company. Now, did you want to be a director, too? Did that appeal to you? Uh, you yes, I did. In fact, I was I had just started to send out uh, uh, um, biography, et cetera. And uh, at that point, I, I won an Emmy for the Defenders. Uh, that was 61, 61, 62. And from then on, I had so much work editing and also being able to pretty much name my own price that I just couldn't afford to, because I also had three kids growing up in a home I had just bought. So, but I always did like directing.